Hi friends, so welcome back to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. My name is T and this is my YouTube channel, Crumpusy and Sewing. So in today's video, I want to share with you a pattern haul and also a little bit of a pattern and fabric pairing. I purchased the new Simplicity collection this past weekend. It's the collection, the early spring collection. So um, as of right now, as of this video, the Simplicity uh, spring collection has not dropped yet, but the early spring collection has dropped as well as the new Nomi patterns. And so I want to share with you what I picked up for my Nomi haul as well as my Simplicity haul. And I'm going to share with you some of the fabrics that I have in mind for some of these. I'm not going to share with you um, fabrics for each individual pattern, but I want to specifically focus on the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge since that is going on right now. If you are not familiar with the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge, it's basically a sewing challenge that Natita of So Natural Day hosts every year during the month of Black History. And basically, you're just choosing a pattern from a Black pattern designer and you're sewing that pattern. And then you have to post your pictures on Instagram and you have to tag So Natural Dane as well as use the hashtag BHM Pattern Designers Challenge. I'm an ambassador this year. I think this is my fourth year being an ambassador and I'm so excited to be an ambassador. I just dropped a video uh, last week on Wednesday of my second entry. If you want to see that, go ahead and check the description box below for the Know Me pattern ME2005 by Ironica B. Cole. I just did that pattern and I am excited to tell you I am trying to do these three. Right now I'm in the process of doing this one. It is the Know Me um, ME2005. 13. So this is the item number. It's not the actual number. So it's ME2013. And I purchased the size 10 to 18. Now this is a pattern for knit fabrics. So it's only going to be for your knit fabrics. So and it calls for fabrics such as stretch knits, ponty, double knit and scuba knit. And you do need a lining because the bodice portion of the garment is lined. And the crop here is a true crop. I'm going to let you all know I did do a mock-up and it is a true crop. So I want to lengthen this pattern just a tad. And I'm going to share with you the fabric that I chose for this particular uh, pattern here. So I'm actually going to share with you two fabrics that I'm going to use for this project. I want to make the top. Now the pattern does come with this skirt pattern. You can make the knee length option as well as a longer um, option. And you have this asymmetrical skirt with these buttons that go down the side of the skirt. And it's a really cute pattern. I had cut the skirt piece out as well, but I don't have any fabric that I feel would be stable enough for this. And so I'm not going to do the skirt. I am going to focus on um, view B. Now there is a difference between view B and A neckline. A neckline, you have a square neck and for B, you have a round neck. Now for me, for whatever reason, most patterns, if you have if um, I select a pattern that has like a boat neckline, for whatever reason, it always come really high up on my neck. And I think that's because I'm really short um, around the bust area and also around my shoulder area. I'm very short in that area. And so I end up needing to take off about two inches or more. And so that's what I had to do for the front of this pattern. I had to take off about two inches around the neckline in the front and I grade it to about a half uh, a half an inch in the back. So with all of that said, let me go ahead and share with you the two fabrics that I want to use for this. And this is um, this rib like fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I really love this fabric. I love the different colors with inside of this. You have yellow, purple, blue. It's just such a fun little animal print. And it's on a white background, which I normally don't do white, but because the foreground is a print and you have color in it, I absolutely love it. So I'm thinking about using that fabric for one of my tops. And then a similar fabric, uh, same collection from Hobby Lobby, this really um, nice Valentine heart fabric. I love it, love it, love it. So I am thinking about using those two fabrics for this pattern here. Next, I picked up this pattern here, which is the Nomi ME2014. And this is by Dewana M. Chandler. And 
I absolutely love these shorts here. That's why I purchased the pattern is for the shorts. Uh, they're not quite knee length. They're a little bit above the knee. Absolutely love this pattern. I cut out the pattern pieces and I'm in the process of doing a mock-up. It is very simple. It has about seven pattern pieces. You do have a fly front and a zipper in the front. If that's something you're worried about and you're not quite for certain if you want to get into zippers yet, I would definitely say um, do like a mock trial of it. I think it's going to be easy for your advanced beginners. I think it's very stylish and I absolutely love this pattern. I picked up the size 18 to 26. She does have other size ranges and I wanted to say for Brittany's pattern, she has uh, different size ranges as well. I just picked up the 10 to 18, but you can get it in a plus size as well, just to let you know. And for Dewana's pattern here, um, it's calling for chambray, cotton blends, gingham, twill, denim, and linen blends. And for your uh, lining, because you're lining your pocket, you're, you need uh, polyester or cotton blend fabrics. Now, um, Dewana's pattern comes in sizes 8 to 26. And like I said, I have the 18 to 26. I think I'm going to need to get a size 14 or a 16. But at this point, I already cut out the pattern pieces and traced the pattern pieces. And I'm in the process of doing the mock-up. I might have to go down to or great in between like a 14 and a 16. So I don't want to really go and get another pattern, another copy. So I might just go ahead and just scale the pattern down. But I do like I do like it. And so far, like I said, I cut it out. I haven't sewed up my uh, mock-up pieces yet, but it's looking very promising. And let me show you the fabric that I want to use. So this fabric I purchased from Mood about a year and a half ago. It's a cotton sateen. It's purple. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I feel like this cotton sateen here as a pair of shorts with that Britney pattern is going to be just absolutely amazing. So this top pattern with this here, I think it's going to be just so gorgeous. So, so, so gorgeous. Next, I picked up this pattern here. It's the ME2020 by Kichi Bead Style. I love this. I cannot tell you how much I love this pattern. It is such a beautiful pattern. Now, I cut the pattern pieces out for this one as well, and it is a doozy. <laughs> I think you have something like 16 pattern pieces. Now, if you omit like the sleeve, because you do have a sleeveless option, if you omit the front pockets, and the bottom pockets and also the little tabs up at the top, you end up um, coming up with about somewhere around 10 pattern pieces or maybe nine pattern pieces. But for the most part, you're going to be sewing about uh, nine to 10 pattern pieces for this. And that's on the lower end. But if you uh, put all of the details like all these features here if you add those you're going to be sewing about 16 pattern pieces here uh plus you know you have to face the collar and uh the pockets have a um an additional uh piece it has like a pocket flap it has um just so many different pieces here so i think um it's a really great pattern, but it's going to be for your average sewist. And I'm thinking about doing uh, this variation here, the shorter length here. I haven't decided if I want to put sleeves on it or not. I'm going to go ahead and um, put everything together. And if I decide I like the sleeves or if I like it sleeveless, I'll just choose from that point. But I absolutely love this pattern and it calls for your cotton type fabric. So you're looking at chambray, cotton blends, gingham, linen, uh, poplin, and shirting type fabrics. You can also do wovens uh, such as chino, twill, cotton sateen, and uh, satin denim. So you have a, quite a bit that you can choose from here. And this pattern also come in plus sizes as well. So you have that option as well. But I got the size 10 to 18. Now for this pattern, I am going to use Natita's fabric. Now Natita uh, gifted me this fabric for being an ambassador this year. It's an ombre purple flat fabric and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a cotton sateen and I am going to be using that for 
this project here. Next, I picked up the Simplicity S9702. So we're getting into Simplicity patterns now. And I purchased the size 18 to 26, but you do have other size options here. The pattern comes in sizes 8 to 26. And the fabric suggestions are poplin, gauze, cotton blends, and linen. And I love this pattern. At first, when it first came out, I thought, I don't know. It doesn't look like <laughs> something that I would wear. But I think with the right fabric, this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful make. So I'm thinking about doing view C here ex with the exception of this neckline. I am going to alter this neckline. I don't want it to go too deep. And so I might raise the neckline a little bit. And um, the pattern calls for, let's see, for view C, it calls for about anywhere from three and a half to four yards of fabric, depending on the style that you choose there on the 60 inch wide fabric. And I want to use my Minerva fabric here. I thought about using this for a butter it pattern, but I think that this here will look really good in this simplicity pattern. You all let me know. I've just been all over the place with this fabric, but I think that those two would just be so gorgeous together. But again, let me know in the comment section below what you think about these two together. Now, these next several patterns, I don't have any fabrics in mind for them, but I do have a vision and, and an idea of where I want to go with them. And so I'll talk about the vision that I have for them, but I don't have specific fabric picked out for them yet. So this pattern here, the Simplicity S9701, is a bodycon dress by Mimi G, and I picked up the size 18 to 26. Again, you have other size options here. It goes all the way down to a size 8, and then it goes up to a size 26. And the suggested fabrics are stretch knits only, such as rib knits, jersey, two-way stretch knits, lycra, spandex blends, and stretch velvet fabrics. Now, I picked this up because, first of all, I really love this neckline. I love um, the fitted style on the waist, but I would make some changes to this uh, just to, uh, like, kind of add my own style to the pattern. And the first that I thought about is the sleeve pattern. So I think that a really nice gathered sleeve with this neckline would be just absolutely beautiful. And then instead of making a dress, I would probably make a top for me. Um, and then wear it with like a really nice wide leg pant or like a, uh, a palooza or some type of pant, like really nice drapey pants, I think would be so cute with this. I think the pattern is uh, stylish on its own, but for me and my body type, I would love to make a top with this. Next, I picked up this pattern here, the Simplicity S9729 by Madeline Intimate. And it comes in sizes extra small to extra large. And I absolutely love all these variations. I would love to make like uh, this slip dress or this. My plan was to make something like this for Valentine Day, but my Joanne location and Hobby Lobby location did not have this in stock before Valentine's Day. And so I just recently picked it up this past weekend. They just got their shipment in this week. And so I wasn't able to make it for Valentine's Day, but I do still want to make it. And I would love to make, um, like I said, any one of those. So this calls for Charmeuse, Crepe de Chine, Silky Type Fabrics, and Tricot. And I absolutely love this. Like I said, I am wanting to make a few intimates. And so I picked up that pattern. I also picked up this pattern here, the Simplicity S9708. Again, I don't have um, a specific type of fabric in mind for this. However, I would love to make um, some solids to go in my wardrobe. And I feel like you can style these so many different ways. You can also hack these. I thought about even um, hacking the top and cutting it off and making like a crop top and putting an elastic in the waistline. I think that would be so cute. Uh, just I, I just got this because I want to play with it. It come in uh, plus sizes as well as regular sizes. I got the plus size 20W to 28W. I don't know if this is going to be too big for me. I think the body of it might be too big, but the sleeve might be just what I need. And But I think, um, yeah, playing with this, making a nice little crop top or something like that 
will be really fun. This pattern has a yoke in the back. You have a cuff on the sleeve with buttons. You have a little pleating in the back um, there as well. Just your standard shirt dress, but it does have pockets too on the side. I don't, it's not showing it on here, but online, if you look on some of the illustrations, you'll see that there's like pockets on the side of the shirt dress, which is really interesting because it's an inseam pocket. But anyway, it's saying that it's easy to sew. And so I would love to give this one a try. The fabric suggestions are silky type fabrics, crepes, rayons, sateen, lightweight denim, and flannel type fabrics. I also picked up this pattern here, the Simplicity S90 706. Again, I got the size 18 to 26. And I actually like this pattern with the exception of this little knot thing down at the bottom, this little pleated tie thing. I think I would omit that. I like the idea of having like this um, cowl-like neckline with this type of peplum style in the sleeves. I think would be really fun. I purchased the size um, 18 to 26, but again, you can get a size, the size smaller, 8, 10, 12, uh, 14, 16. Uh, you can get those sizes as well. The suggested fabrics are Chalet, Charmeuse, Cotton Lawn, Crepe, Crepe de Chine, and Double Georgette and Silky Type Fabrics. Lastly, I picked up the Simplicity S9714, which is a Mimi G DIY lifestyle pattern. You have your jacket and your pants. Now this one, I do have a few fabrics in mind. I have some linen that I want to get out of my stash and I think this would be really perfect for it. I got the size 18 to 26, but the pattern also goes down to a size eight. It calls for fabrics such as linens, cottons, rayon suiting, denim, and crepe fabrics, and you will need lining as well. So I don't know if the uh, jacket is lined or if the pockets are lined, but it is calling for lining fabrics. I love, love this. I think it, even though it's just kind of like your basic uh, outfit here, like your, your basic jacket and pants, I think it's really unique because of the ties um, and also how the jacket pulls to the side there. I think it's so cute. Now the fabrics that I have in mind are um, uh, these two linen here. I have a red linen that I think would be really cute and also a blue linen. So this one was purchased from Joanne. This one was purchased from Fabric Mart Fabrics. And I think both of them will be really great. Now I have enough to do pants or jacket with this one, but not both. And I have enough to do both with this one. So I'm thinking about doing, um, using the linen here, the blue linen for the jacket and the pants here. So that's basically my haul and my fabric and pattern pairing. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you picked up anything from the Simplicity or Nomi patterns, new collection share your thoughts in the comment section below let me know which of these patterns you like and if you sewed any of these patterns let me know what your experience was like down in the comment section below i hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing week and i will talk to you all later bye